What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to, well, guess what? Another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Except we're in Pokemon Stadium 2 right now because, well, this is a trade episode right here. And as you guys can see, I do have both my cartridges ready to go right here. So, in the last episode, we went through Route 30 all the way to Violet City and ended up capturing a Spearow and all that crud. But there is one more thing that I wanted to get. And that was a Pokemon that we can't obtain in Pokemon Crystal. Like I said before, guys, we're going to do things a little bit differently in this version of Pokemon Crystal with a lot of trades and Pokemon that, you know, I've always wanted to incorporate on my team but never could because, well, you know, good old Draven didn't have the knowledge to trade Pokemon. He had to hack them at sometimes. Yeah. So, there you go. So, anywho, we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon Lab and we're going to be trading for a Pokemon right now and I'm thinking I'm going to be trading for at least three Pokemon in this whole walkthrough. Well, two in Pokemon Stadium and one in Pokemon Crystal, if you guys catch my drift. So, let's go right ahead and grab this. We have two cartridges, one is being Pokemon Gold and the other one is Silver. I do, I do have a lot of progress in Pokemon Gold, so this is why I am enabled to do so. So as you guys can see, we are in the Pokemon Lab, and you got quite a few things you can actually find right here. This is a machine organizing Pokemon and items and highlighted and in, in everything. This is the PC. Here is the Pokedex. Let's go right ahead and take a look at the Pokedex. As you guys can see, we have our very first Pokemon, and that is Chikorita. A sweet aroma gently wafts from the leaf in its head. It's docile and loves to soak up in the sun's rays. Look at that, guys. It's wiggling its butt, looking at us all cutesy and all that stuff. And, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to brag about this. Having a gaming computer enables us to actually see the graphic of this uh, this Pokemon right here. I mean, go ahead and check out my initial ones right there. It, it, it's not going to work. So, let's go right ahead and go straight into the piece or into the trading mission. We are going to trade for one Pokemon. And we're going to be trading it with Pokemon Chris or Pokemon Gold. As you guys can see right here, we do have three Pokemon, and it looks like I forgot to trade for one. Okay, so before we do anything, I need to pick up a Pokemon in order to trade. So let's see, let's go straight to the boxes, and right here into box number one, let's go right ahead and get a Rattata. Alright, uh, let's see. Can we move this guy? Reorder moves? Nope. Um, hmm. Let's see. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Okay, so... Let's see. I don't think I can move Pokemon right now. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Move box, reorder boxes, exchange boxes, name box, and crap baskets. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon. Ah, here we go. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and put a Pokemon into our box. So we're going to go right here. And we're going to move this Pokemon. We're going to put Rattata in the front. There you go. We got Rattata in our team. And let's go ahead and save and quit. Look at that. We're doing some in-game stuff right here, guys. This is pretty awesome. And let's go straight back to the uh, machine that will actually help us trade Pokemon. So as you can see, we do have two copies of these games. Emulators and all that stuff. One crystal, one gold. And now this will enable us to actually trade. So we're going to be trading our Rattata right here. And the Pokemon I am choosing happens to be this little guy, Fluffvolt. Now, if you guys don't know, in Pokemon Crystal, you can't capture this Pokemon. It's a game exclusive to both Gold and Silver, I believe. And yeah, we definitely need an Electric-type Pokemon. And I did say we, we kind of wanted to do some native Pokemon thing. I'm, I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and trade this Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, look at that. Look at that. In a way, we go. So there you have Mareep. And on this side, we got Rattata back in Pokemon Gold, I think. And, uh, well, let's see. What else is there? Look at that. The trade has been complete. Let's go ahead and save and quit. Like I said, guys, we are actually going to be showing some trades into this walkthrough. Some trades I want to show you guys for evolution purposes. And the other ones, yeah, for awesome purposes too. So, let's go right ahead into the next portion of this episode. Because we do have another Pokemon that we have to trade for. So, I'll be right back with you guys. 
Alrighty guys, so here we are back at Pokemon Crystal, and here's the other person that we want to trade with. In Violet City, the first house right next to the Pokemon Center, you'll be able to find this this kid right here, and he will want a Bellsprout for his Onyx. So let's go right ahead and get rid of this uh, Bellsprout right here. Okay, connect the game link cable. So we're kind of doing this like, you know, back in the day when there was cable, all that stuff. Bam, look at that. It's actually looking like we're actually trading uh, from Game Boy to Game Boy, but this is one of the many, uh, well, one of the few in-game trades you can actually get. And, well, you guys have it uh, correct right here. I am actually thinking of bringing in Onyx as one of my Pokemon team members because, well, we already know Onyx does have an evolution. And I seem to remember a little something right here. Just a little something. And that is that it does evolve through a metal coat in Pokemon Gold. I've gotten far enough to actually find a metal coat and I actually gave it to, uh, what was it, Marie? Yes. Gave it to Marie. I have a metal coat now. And well, as you guys can see, we got ourselves Onyx. I think he won that trade right there. So let's go right ahead and take a look at what we got right here. So two, two Pokemon right here. We got Fluffvolt, the electric type Pokemon. As you guys can see, it is at level six. It's a male. And it does have the metal coat as his item, thanks to Pokemon Gold. We will be giving this to Onyx uh, later on. We're not planning on evolving it right now. We still got a few things that we actually need to grab in order to actually make this, uh, well, in order for me to actually find logic to evolve it just right there and then. Don't want to just do it all at once. And well, as you guys can see, this has some pretty good stats right there. Its ID number is different. Now let's go right ahead and take a look at our Rocky right here. It's already have a nickname, Rocky, the rock and ground type Pokemon. It does have a bitter berry on him. Tackle and Screech is its uh, moves. And, well, not much of a special attacker, but its defense is right up there. And eventually, once we give it the metal coat and trade it back to gold and bring it back, bam, we're going to have a team. When I will trade it, I do not know. Well, actually, I do know. I have an idea of where. I just don't want to trade it right now because, well, what's the fun in that? Seriously. I kind of want to feature Pokemon. I kind of want to do some stuff right here. So, that was this episode right here of Trading Pokemon, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the Sprout Tower, kicking some butt, taking some names, finding some new stuff, what have you. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, there's a heart button right there. Click on it. Uh, the link's on the description below. If you guys want to join as a member right here of this channel, there will be a Pokemon Silver walkthrough for members only coming soon in November. Once I get my schedule all fixed up. And, uh, yeah. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition. See you guys.